just good wishes and blessings and fingers crossed. Yeah, crossing everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs>
vocal and freer than I was and we went to the same school I was a pretty shy kid but I always kind of noticed the difference in treatment uh between mm-hmm. us two you know there's like this um tendency to kind of cast away difficult kids and difficult could mean anything depending on the teacher yeah. and uh, the mm-hmm. kids who are like more academic and cuter and easier to deal with are often the ones who are like put on a pedestal which is a bit um you know i think it's a bit bizarre in terms of what education should really be like so i think that was kind of the starting point but ultimately it's just you know both the girls are an amalgamation of so many different things um uh, a lot of those experiences coming from my own time in boarding school Mm, that's really interesting. I also went to boarding school, so I, I actually I completely I completely get it. Um, <laughs> totally understand. I, I, I'd love to just know about your writing process. So you you had B2 in, in, in your mind for a while, and obviously you had this event that happened, this real life event. In terms of writing a script, do you normally start with a an experience or an idea and then you sort of go to structure and then character or do you start with character and then um how, how does it unfold what what is your writing process like um i think i think it's like always a feeling or an experience or a th- some kind of thematic experience i want to explore but it always starts with a character uh, that kind of embodies that or and then i'm kind of trying to figure out what structure or situation to put that person in to be able to best talk and speak to that um you know theme i guess um i think very often i know how the film is going to end which is easier to write up to mm-hmm. or at least not maybe in a scene but at least a feeling and a sense of what i want to leave audiences with but but bit to it was um a bit different you know i really didn't know how to end it all i knew was like i didn't want to end it with the image of you know um dead bodies i wanted yeah. to be able to say something um a little bit more than that i think it was coming from a place of just i had built a character that was so um independent and resilient and just very street wise and kind of like a big person in a small body that i mm-hmm. wouldn't think that she it just didn't feel like it felt kind of wasteful to end it on that note because i felt like the way i had set it up set her up she would probably do something about it and try to help herself and not kind of wait it out for help to arrive mm. um so i always knew i wanted to end with a sense of admiration for this kid i just didn't know what scene it was going to be in and didn't really figure it out until very close to shoot um and that came from you know the real lives of these kids and how they are it helped me get to that point mm-hmm. uh but i had the luxury of writing this for a long time like over two and a half years because i was raising money and you know uh you have a lot more time to develop your thesis in the program so i kind of took advantage of that um so it was a little different from you know my other shots i was also i think somewhere itching to um uh, just have more time and write a longer film you know mm. a, a lot of the problems in the edit in this movie was like the first 10 minutes or 5 minutes were breathing like a feature so that was uh you know i was like learning a lot more like different lessons from the writing of this particular film but um you know for the most part it just feels like a disease for me <laughs> i i i both enjoy it and i'm also kind of like miserable when i'm writing <laughs> like if i write something at night and i wake up in the morning even if no one's read it i'm like waking up drenched in sweat so embarrassed of my words i have to just go back and really? read it that's so, so i mean it, it just it feels like i'm um you know I'll, you know i don't know it feels like the material kind of takes over and then you feel like you have control over it and then that keeps changing keeps hmm. changing every every day Let's uh let's talk about uh, casting. Y- young B2 is I mean <laughs> I I found myself being so drawn drawn to her. Uh she's stubborn and feisty but like absolutely charming and I just I I I guess she just drew me in 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 every way possible. So I I would love to know where did you find her? How how did you work with that many children? Was it a challenge? Yeah, I I just want to know all, all about that. Yeah, she's amazing. I know that we've made it so far because everyone on the crew was so good, but it's just uh it's it's really just her face and how she was able to be like 
herself in front of the camera um i you know she has like this kind of energy and confidence and like a the most expressive face like the minute i saw her i knew mm. um she was probably going to uh, you know play a bit too i didn't a very specific kind of kid and she was exactly that but like so much more that it just um you know i i was uh, it was too good to be true in the beginning so i was always very like adequately suspicious trying to like wait for yeah. things to fall apart but it was um it was it was very challenging to just find these kids only because i really didn't know where to start from i just locked my location and literally just started walking around the place mm. <laughs> looking for these people um and i had a lot of help from this one ngo called pratham um they helped me kind of tour the government schools in the area and you know uh, see what that world and classroom culture is like uh, but there's like kids kids are not like themselves in in those environments there's a sense yeah. of performance when the teachers are present as well and it was just not working out to like hold a formal kind of audition so i i had help from a friend of mine nirvana sani who's an actor based in delhi who came down and we kind of made up this structure of like a theater workshop and we would just like walk into these communities of kids and play with them and it also served as some sort of audition um uh, for the kids and uh you know i i walked into where rani lives the girl who played bit to um i think two weeks into the process and she just walked out of her of her home uh, like the little settlement of homes and she's like what's up you want to play <laughs> so i was like <laughs> Yeah, let's play. And then she disappeared and came back with like twenty more kids. So she was very like confident and a bit of like a leader already, and uh, wasn't afraid to meet new people and learn new things, and was very sharp and you know kind of checked all the boxes. But I just started focusing on her and kept coming back there every day, and just got better. You know, she was really interested in 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 the craft and was really like. Um, you know a very fast learner and i i kind of kept upping the game every every day and she was just uh you know just right there with me <laughs> every step <laughs> so i i i i kind of wanted to find the younger character in rani's world because it was important for them to just um you know i knew the success of the film really depended on the effectiveness of that relationship mm. on camera so i i was very lucky i found renu like two houses away from rani they've mm-hmm. grown up around each other and had like this uh, you know the same kind of love and hate relationship between and chand do and it was uh, renu was much younger she was six at the time uh, but also just really like like very fast learners and very generous with their experiences and just opened up and i just kind of worked very hard to create a sense of trust between us so um yeah i got very lucky with these yeah. kids i suppose that's what you have to do especially when working with kids is to create as a director to create that element of trust because uh i mean yeah they've got to be able to just be comfortable and in, in front of you um yeah that's yeah. that really was the only thing that carried us through yeah you know, some of the toughest set days yeah how how long did you guys shoot for how many days uh we shot 6 days 8 hour days i wow. could have used 10 days yeah <laughs> but, but it was pretty short and quick um i came back with i think most of what i had written which was surprising but um you know it's like i'd never put the kids in front of the camera before we actually started shooting so it took a day and a half two days for everyone to learn Mm. just how to exist in this uh, in this kind of environment don't um, look in the camera <laughs> yeah don't look in the camera don't smile hold an expression i mean we'd already <laughs> trained them in like small tricks that i could quickly like pull them back into like just counting in your heads or i showed them a lot of films of like ch- children as protagonists and uh, showed them the making of that to make them understand the concept of camera and stuff like that so they were they were really up for a challenge so if i made it into like a fun game um you know they were down to play yeah so. sweet sweet <laughs> but let's ask you about a budget and and i suppose funding for a film yeah what for just for people who have no idea what what is the process uh to, for raising money for, for films such as b2 yeah i mean it was very tricky because we really started with nothing we had 
I had already kind of had people in mind to hire and I had a finished draft and all of that stuff. I even went to India to shoot it without any money. Really? Uh, we, get it, we got like a small allotment from NYU, um, like $5,000. And then I got like a grant, in-house NYU grant from the Black Family Foundation, uh, which was about 10. And that I got pretty early before going to India, which really allowed me a lot more time in development. Mm. Um, I was able to write it for a lot longer and um, I was able to get myself home and, you know, yeah. just buy time really uh, to be able to set up a fundraiser in the way that I wanted to. And uh, then we we tried, we ran a Kickstarter campaign through December 2018 and tried to raise another 10,000 um, to get us to production. Um, you know, at that time I was meeting with line producers in India. They would just laugh at me being like, there's no way you can make this film in that much money. But I was mm. like, we just have to do it, you know. Um, but we ended up raising a little bit more than we asked for. We got like about 13,000. And then I realized I really did need a lot more, um, mm. at least to do it in the right way. So I, 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 I raised an additional like a couple of grand in like, private equity and I reached out to like friends and family and just uh-huh. got through production somehow and um, you know there were a lot of people who just came and worked for the film for the love of the kids and the story and I really couldn't have done it without them um, ideally I would have liked to pay everyone a lot more but sure. we had to like uh, you know privilege um, certain equipment we were like shooting in a very weird part of the Himalayas where the climate the weather was very unpredictable so we needed to be ready for anything because we had no time or room in the budget to buy another day Mm -hmm. we just have to shoot no matter how what the sun and the clouds look like um and then I came back and you know I basically spent uh all of that money and a lot more than I than I didn't have um in in the production because it's like it's pretty uh, it's tough working with kids too, you know, you just, uh, sometimes they just don't want to do it or mm-hmm. sometimes they're tough days and you want to protect them rather than the film. So we kind of went over a little bit. So I needed to raise money again for the post process, which took me, which took me another couple of months, but we got, we got another grant uh, through NYU, uh, which was an additional 10,000. So I think I had a lot of, um, institutional help and support mm. from friends and family and we basically finished the film with uh, uh, somewhere under 30 grand wow do you do you feel that uh, times are changing and that I, I guess more women in the industry are are being celebrated for our talent and expertise and hard work and I, I guess is it important to you to be recognized as a female filmmaker or just a filmmaker I mean, I don't, I don't, um, like, I don't, uh, I, I'm, I feel like men are not recognized as male filmmakers, so I don't know why, but I understand the inherent, like, inequality in it, and I'm not, I yeah. don't, like, not acknowledge that, you know, sure. so I'll say that there's, de- like, you know, when I was starting off in film school, suddenly diversity and female filmmaking was, like, um, sellable. You know, mm. it became like even people who didn't really believe in it had to kind of adhere to it because it's yeah. what was going on. Uh, but I will say five years later now, I, I had, you know, I have a lot of women in front of and behind the camera for this film, but I didn't really hire them because of that fact. I hired the best people and the voices that I wanted in my own mm. voice and my own work. And they happen to all be women. Um so, I mean, that's something to be proud of that I really would, given the choice, pick them over anyone else. And I'm not really mm-hmm. thinking about their gender at the time. So I think um, I think it's important for, I, I think it's important for women filmmakers and their work to be seen in an equal platform is what I think is important because we, um, you know, we're not mm-hmm. making films in any different way <laughs> any no. like uh, any 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 difference in in perspective of the story or the craft is um you know has to be a strength of ours uh, as i mean i can't do what a man does and i don't see the world the same way and i think it's just it's a different um skill mm. do you have any advice for writers or directors 
they are two very different mediums, so either or is, is fine. Um, who, who maybe want to write, you know, create a short film and potentially get to where you are today. I mean, I, I have been like, I'm one of the most lost, anxious, unpredictably like, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I would say that when it's happening, it, it doesn't always feel good, but it doesn't mean that it it, it, it isn't, you know, mm. there's, uh, I think the best thing that's kept me going is to find a story and work and find like a tribe of people who you love and you can spend endless hours with and a script that feels good and exciting even if you've spent three years with these characters mm. and uh, you need to find that thing in your own work to keep you going um, because you know I feel very grateful for how far the film has come but it's been very like um, I've had more no's and more rejections than I've had uh, you know like a recognition for this yeah. work and even though I like I'm not complaining but I'm just saying like um, it doesn't feel good all the time even though mm. you can't really see or tell what the you know um, what's what it's going to look like when you're done uh, but I, I, I really just think you have to like find work that excites you and you know try to enjoy it even if it feels miserable mm. I know like firsthand you know what this industry is like especially in terms of I suppose rejection or setbacks or thinking one thing might look a certain way and then it doesn't end up that way um so I, I guess I'd love to know how do, how do you pick yourself up when when you've you know had, gone through rejection or maybe even self-doubt what do you do to keep striving forward I don't, I, I mean, I'm still learning and getting better at that, but mm. I just, it, for me, it's like, if I finish watching my film and I'm, and I like it, I can live with that. And yeah. I think any rejection or difficulties that might come that make me feel like I should think otherwise, like it, I just kind of, um, it's more of a feeling of like anger and being like misunderstood when you're confident of your own work. Mm. Uh, I'm very well aware when the work isn't like uh, matching up to my own expectations. So that's a very different feeling. And then it's then it's also okay because you just go back to the mm. basics and figure out how to build it better. Um, so I think it's it's really important to make it specific to the work itself and whatever is in your control. Like once I've made the film and it's out there in the world, I really have very little control about or yeah. like what people think and how they perceive it and the other films that they pit it against. Like, I am so excited, grateful, proud and shocked that we're on the short list of 10 films. <laughs> but I can for sure tell you that we are not the 10 best short films mm -hmm. that made that were made in the last year. It's just so much about luck and timing um, that it's, it's like kind of like a game and there's a lot of noise around it. And, you know, I think for me what's more important is to be able to find um is to be able to like build towards sustainability and stability in my life as a filmmaker so i can just keep making work i don't want to be judged on hopefully what's my last short film mm. <laughs> you know? so you just have to like it's it's like it's kind of like a marathon and um i really depend a lot on the people i love and the people in my life Mm -hmm. and they keep it very real for me and um, you know I think that's more important to like yeah. to just have a tribe yeah 100% 100% what what do you want audiences to take away from B2 I don't know I feel like I like I said I have very little control over that but I hope they leave with the same sense of love and affection and admiration I had for these kids and mm -hmm. I always try to kind of lends them in that same with that same respect um i know that there's a there's like a you know uh ex expectation that na tough narratives like this come from like developing places like in, in india but i kind of wanted to um challenge that assumption a little bit and give these people like specific uh lives and personalities mm. and characters and to yeah. show that they had strong relationships and dreams and ambitions and not just like um you know faceless figures in a in a news article mm. um I, this 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 film is about a forgotten people but 
um, you know, they're simple and this world is Spartan, but they're very self-sufficient and happy and they live in a beautiful place kind of tucked in in like very far away to the mountains and they probably have a better quality of life than most of us do in the, in the city so I yeah. feel like I wish that um, you know it kind of challenges what we think of um, of such kind of rural spaces and in, in in you know countries like like India. If you could break the ice meaning have a drink with anyone past or present who would it be and why? Um, <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. I don't know I would I guess like you know one of the first films I saw um, that really kind of opened my mind up to what um, filmmaking could be other than what I already knew of it was um, Almodovar's film All About My Mother he's on the mm-hmm. shortlist with us I'd love to have a drink with him and oh <laughs> talk to him about how he's feeling <laughs> and um uh, I don't know I've been I've been really into Whitney Houston for the last few months so I would I would love to have a chance to break the ice with her too yeah I mean that would be very cool <laughs> um amazing thank you so much for your time and yeah I'm I'm thank you I'm, I will be watching and and um yeah crossing crossing fingers it's thank you amazing thanks for having me this was so fun Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more inspirational videos just like this, then don't forget to subscribe, which you can do by clicking right over here. Also, leave us a comment in the section below and tell us who you guys would like us to break the ice with next.